Hi. Um, we're gonna do um, start with some basics later on. But uh, first, what you have to keep in mind always when you're working with horses, their language is based on a body language. So. Um, try not to use sunglasses when you're working with your horses because um, they can't see your eyes through them. Also, the same goes uh, with hats that have those shades over your eyes. The horses need to see your mimic. Um, the longer you, you interact with your horse, the better your communication will be between the both of you. Your horse will learn your accent as much as you will learn his or her accent. Um, the horse will notice every minute change in your bodily disposition, in your body language, in your mimic. So always be aware of that. When your horse doesn't do quite as you want it to do, then it may just be the case that um, you're giving kind of confusing messages. You see that? I gave that, that other horse the eye, the evil eye. And they understand me quite clearly. <laughs> um, because uh, those two horses over there, they were higher than our two. And, well, they like to mess around, and so I gotta give them the evil eye, or be more. <laughs> be even more vigorous if they, if they won't react to it. Um, well, that's just the basics, you know. So, always be sure how you, how you yourself appear to the horse. Are your shoulders square? Are your shoulders slouched like that? How is your walk? Do you walk like this? Do you, you know, drag your feet? Or do you walk upright and with, um, with confidence? The horse will notice and most of, most of the time your horse will mimic you. Now she gave him the evil eye. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a very important thing. horse will notice if uh, you have your, your upper body more towards him or away. If you tell your horse to back and you go like this, okay she does it anyway, <laughs> but it's more likely that she won't back away if you go like this because you're backing away from her in this case. If you do it like that, confident horse will back away from you because you're moving into her space or his space. Um, these are things to always keep in mind. Best thing to do when you when you start working with your horse um, using just kinds of body language and not you know pulling on leads or leashes or something like that is put up a camera somewhere, buy a tripod or ask your husband to, to film you or your wife, <laughs> um, ask someone to film you or film yourself with a, using a tripod or something. And then you just uh, can go back afterwards, I don't know, sit in the living room and uh, just watch yourself and watch how your horse reacts to you. You will notice sometimes that you do movements that you aren't even aware of at the time, but your horse does. So when your horse doesn't do anything right away, it's not always because he or she is naughty or, or doesn't want to work with you. It's just, it could be that you're sending confusing messages. That you say one word, but your body says differently. So you have to be aware of that. Um, yeah, well, that's that for now. That's kind of an introduction and we're gonna start with some basic leading exercises right away. <laughs>